Hey, this is Bayonne. You're watching MB. Hey, everyone. It's Alicia from MB, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Bayonne. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Awesome. How are you doing today? Doing well. It's uh, it's like halfway into the tour, so a little bit sleepy, but but good otherwise. The van leg's kicking in a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> well, you're now touring with Minus the Bear, so how's mm -hmm. things been going down? It's been great. Uh, it's been like a couple of weeks I did South By, and then I jumped in with them when they came through Texas, and I'll be with them for the rest of the tour, and it's it's been really good so far. At least something that you said out here is, holy hell, this tour has been unreal <laughs> so far. So what kind of moments have made it a bit unreal? Um, it's just, uh, it's, I'm hitting up some markets that I've never hit up before, um, and playing rooms that I've never played, so it's just been really fun. I'm meeting a lot of new people, and, uh, it seems like this, this, uh, this crowd, uh, is, is reacting well to it, so, yeah, it's been really, like, one of the best tours I've had in the last couple of years. On the music front, you have this really beautiful pop song called Falls. It's yeah. a new single. I was wondering if most of your tracks start off with those really contagious loops and you kind of develop from there. Yeah, there's, uh, it's, it's, it's all based on loops pretty much. I feel like, at least for the you know, Bayonne project, it's all mostly made on a looper first and then I kind of transpose it into Pro Tools or Logic or whatever. It all pretty much builds off of one solid foundation, one solid loop. I feel like a big theme to this record is simplicity at its best in a really great way. Cause Thank you. You have those amazing drum beats that make you want to dance your ass off, but it's also a little bit spacey, atmospheric. Sure, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. feel like simplicity is something that you go for when you're trying to put together a record? Yeah, I think just naturally that's kind of how it works uh, for me. Probably because it's very loop-based and I'm able to you know, add one loop on top of the other, whatever, just whatever makes sense. And I guess it does come out being a lot more simple than like crazy complex. Do you feel like that ties into the titles too? That had to have been intentional, the one-worded titles? Oh yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, that was, <laughs> a lot of the times, I don't know, yeah, simplicity, especially with, with things like titles and, and yeah, that's, that would definitely ties in with it, I believe. Um, yeah. You shared how the single is a little bit about the bittersweet ride and the, called life and just all of those crazy challenges that can come your way. Mm -hmm. And one of those big things that you took on was pursuing music full time. Yeah. So when was the moment that you realized you're just going to dive right into this and you're like, I'm all in? Uh, it was a couple of years ago. I was uh, working at a, I was working at a, like a deli, like a, a sandwich shop for like five years or so, but I was still touring on the side. Uh, and it just became started becoming too too busy and too hectic uh, for me to do both of them. So I just kind of jumped in and went for the music thing, just kind of randomly. And it's been great sen ever since. Well, your name comes from the street that you grew up on. Yeah. So Texas must mean a lot to you, I'm assuming. Yeah, totally. Uh, like Houston, uh, Spring, Texas is actually where I was where I was raised, and that's that's where Bayonne Street actually is. Houston and uh, Austin, mostly. If your fans were to hang out with you for a day there, where would you take them, or what would you want them to check out? Um, I think like Austin, there's there's a lot of beautiful outdoorsy areas. Like, that's kind of the beauty of Austin. It's like a perfect blend of city and and like wilderness. There's a lot of like hill country out there and like bodies of water that are beautiful. That's probably what I would do. Like go to Barton Springs or. Uh, like the San Marcos River or something. It's, it's beautiful out there. I just want to dive into a quick fire round with you. So you just say whatever comes to mind first, all right? Sure. Okay, so first one. What's the wallpaper on your phone? <laughs> I, do, I, don't, I don't know. Probably something very simple. It might be like just black or like gray. Okay. Probably, I think. I usually go for the, for the, Going the back simple to ones. Yeah. <laughs> Who's an artist you'd love to see live that you've yet to? That I've yet to? Um... Father, Father John Misty, probably. Okay, cool. And for the next one, what's the worst job you've had? Uh, a grocery store when I was really young. Uh, it was, I won't say the name of it, but it was in around Houston. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, grocery store. And okay. I, I actually, it was the only job that I ever like, like walked out on. What was and so I, bad about it? I was just like 16 years old, and I didn't like the people who were, that they were bossing me around. And... Uh, they just didn't care at all about their employees at this particular place. And I thought it was just really cool just walking out like that. Because <laughs> it was so liberated. Like, teenage liberation, you know. And for the last one, which curse word do you use the most? Shit. 
Okay, that came quickly. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, I use okay, it a lot during the set, maybe. Yeah. That's <laughs> definitely the one, yeah. Let's wrap everything up. Is there anything you want to leave with all of your fans who will be viewing? Um, come see me uh, on tour. Because <laughs> that's what I'm going to be doing a lot this year. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. It's my pleasure. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more. See you next time.